Uh, we have, uh, what's coming up now? Well, I do have Crop of the Drop, and then, uh... Crop of the Drop is yeah. coming up later. Okay, so i got to interrupt you, because we got some... Oh, wait, wait, news. let's do it. Wait a minute, what I meant to say is, I have Court... Uh, oh, Court Updates. Court Updates at some time, but we got a break And news. Crop of the Drop yeah, later tonight. Yeah, it looks like, uh, Governor North, remember, make the children comfortable before you murder them. Oh, yes. Virginia. And Mr. 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 Blackface in Virginia. Miami, yeah. yeah. Mr. KKK Blackface. <laughs> uh, and we know what's funny about that story, too. Uh, he loved to dress up in blackface. He was mm -hmm. known as that guy. That was his <laughs> shtick. Like, oh, there's Northam in blackface again. And, of course, a Democrat. Of course, he wants to murder children and ban your Second Amendment property rights. They have withdrawn their bill banning semi-automatic weapons in Virginia. Wow. It is withdrawn. They were no longer going to go David, uh, David Oldham, way to go. <laughs> Wow, that's you're right. on a roll. <laughs> Man, this is good. Victory. Start, work, start out. working on truancy laws because yeah. we got to get those out. Well, I mean, the thing is, a lot of good people showed up, and really, it's not the split you think. You look at the map, that's closer to the kind of contest we're looking at politically. 98 point something percent of the United States geographic area votes conservative votes for property rights, votes for the Constitution. Right. It's less than 2% of our geographic area that is responsible for the liberal agenda. And even in states like California, you'd be shocked how much conservatism is there and how much people are waking up. I mean, people realize what's going on in San Francisco, mm -hmm. that it is a failed social experiment. Yeah. Liberals are starting to scratch their heads and wonder, yep. uh, is this really the way? And yeah. so we are on the cusp, I think, of a, of a breakthrough of an American political, a bloodless uh, revolution where uh, we get back to constitutional values. It's a, it's a beautiful system that the Founding Fathers set up where we disagree in the ways that we're trying to appeal one or two Republican votes or one or two Democratic votes to change the direction of the country instead of coming to...